Well g'day, it's Bleakers here for Ocean Blue Fishing down at the Sydney International Boat Show. And whilst I'm only a stone's throw from Sydney Harbour, I'd think I'm in Florida, because I'm standing next to one of the most impressive vessels on the market, the Invincible 33 Catamaran. Now to run me through a few of the finer details, I'm meeting up with Sam Woolrock from Boat Monster, and he's gonna show me why this boat is marketed as a serious fishing machine. Let's take a look. Sam, Bleakers. thanks for having me. How this are you, is mate? one of the most serious vessels I've seen. Is yeah. it? Surely it's one of the best on the market. Absolutely. I mean, Invincible built a fantastic product, yep. and their catamaran range is second to none. Mate, I was, I was approaching it from a few metres away and just had to stop for a second. In the show, it seriously stands out. Like, that yeah. hull design is really unique. Catamaran style, there's a lot of single holes here, but that is that one of the, the big features that we're going to look at today? Yeah, I think what you'll find is um, this Invincible catamaran yep. being designed by Morelli and Melvin, yep. who designed the America's Cup catamarans, is unbelievable. Right, right. Well, let's start at the back. Is that a good spot? Sounds good. Now, Sam, in terms of room, this is a dance floor. There is two of us here, and we could fit another 10 in here. I guess that's what you get when you've got a 33 foot boat. Yeah, absolutely, Bleaker. So, what, what's great about the catamaran range of boats yep. over the monos is this 33 cat is more like a 40 foot mono yep. in terms of real estate. Okay. Massive amount of room down the back here. Um, you can fit, you know, a lot of anglers here. Yep. And particularly stable being a catamaran. It would be, and then, and then seating too. Like there's four seats there. You sit down like this. You can be fishing, watching your spread up the back. Comfortable too. Like this is quite a, you know, a serious seat. But then when yeah. you, then you get up and you go to the business area. This looks like a sauna, mate. So. If we open that up, do we know the leader ridge on this? Because that's one of the deepest I've seen. It's, My goodness. It's close to 200 litres. You know, the Americans love their live bait fishing, as yep. we do as well. Yep. You know, for chasing your marlin or your tuna or kingies. Huge amount of space in there for, you know, yep. hundreds of liveys in there. And if we're in the Australian waters and you get slimy mackerel, which, you know, are known for dying in their live bait tanks, this is going to make sure they've got plenty of room, plenty of oxygen. That's a really cool feature. I think it's going to light up a lot of fishers' eyes out there. Yeah. That's awesome. Most definitely. And also, as well as that, live well, we've got another live well under the under floor. Under here? Yeah. Wow, and could that be used as, like, could either of these be subbed out for like an esky scenario or a kill tank or something like that? They're pretty versatile. Very versatile. Uh, we do have a lot of esky space on board yep. anyway, um, under the seat here. Oh wow, that's, that's all storage. All insulated, insulated or you could too. use it as a storage area. Right. So lots of live wells, lots of eskies, so I'm lots picturing, of storage. I'm picturing me sitting down, right? I've got a few rods out, I've got full, full of live baits in there get out a beer, or if you're driving, a non-alcoholic drink, straight out, you've got all this vantage room to look at your spread, and then I don't even want to know what we're going to get to up here. Can we start, can we head up? Let's head up. Let's go. Now in terms of rod storage, Sam, I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five. You've got all the ones up here too, and they go all the way up the side. I mean, <laughs> if anyone's got more rods than that, there'll be someone out there that's got more rods than that, but that's surely a, a, a big component of this boat, the amount of storage you've got. Yeah, for sure, Bleak, it's like, People that buy these boats yep. are fishermen, generally. Generally. They, they great day boats too, yep. but they want rod storage. They do. Right. So wherever you are during the day, and you want to put your rod down, there's a rod holder. Ah, oh, so that's the idea. So, you know, yeah. where, wherever you are in this boat, and mind you, it's 33 foot. So if you're up the front to walk to the back, yeah. you've got a rod there if you want it. Absolutely. Excellent. So, and look, I love that it's a fishing boat, right? We, we use this to fish, but it's got comfort and luxury written all over it. Like these seats, they're serious seats. So if we jump in here, you're sitting here you're at the business end and you're looking down at here, the real estate on this screen space is ridiculous. So do you often find that they run, you know, four individual screens or two big split screens? So mainly running two big split screens. Yep. Um, these days electronics are big. Everyone yep. wants big screens, the biggest they can get. You want to be able to run multiple systems yep. on the screens at any one time. Awesome. And then if you if one fails, which is rare, you've got a backup. You've got a backup. You've there. got a backup. Yeah. Good to have a backup. And then the hard T top, obviously, on a boat this size, you can have luxuries like that, obviously for things like sun protection, but it's real sturdy too, and it's got lighting all through it. I think it, it not only looks good, but to get out of the, you know, the elements after a big day on the water, this is a nice little feature. Absolutely. You know, it provides a lot of protection from the sun during the day. Yep. Or if the weather turns bad, you know, you've got a lot of lot of protection under here and 
great thing about Invincible is they, they build their tea tops in house. They've got their own uh, metal fabrication area. Awesome. And we can customize it to the way you want it. We can put extra rod holders. You can have black powder coating, white powder coating, mirror finish. Wow. You know, there's, there's a lot you can do to make it your own boat. Right, now how's this? I'm speaking to you in this boat and I feel like I'm yelling you that far away from me. This boat is so wide. I'm standing on this gunnel and what, well, the beam length of this is surely well over two metres. So we've got the beam on this 33 is 3.1. 3.1. So very wow. stable. Very, very, very stable. stable. Right. That, that's a big feature when you talk about catamarans yep. over monos is that they are very stable. Now we've been at the back and seen the fishing capabilities, but this is a joke, surely. I'm sitting in a, in a movie theatre right now. If we were driving, let's say you know, we're off Queensland driving out to the reef and we're just sitting in these seats looking out at that, it doesn't get better, does it? Mate, it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, the upholstery is amazing, they're comfortable. We've got, you know, we're out, we're having a great day. You want, you're traveling or you just want to chill out, mm. this is the this place is the to spot. be. This is it. So you've got all your rod holders down here and your cup holders and you've still got that sun protection from the hard top. You could put speakers up here if we can customize it, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we do the, the uh, speaker pods. Yep. Um, so, you know, music's a big thing. You're having a great day, you want to chill, yep. you want to get the beats happening. You know, we, we put big sound systems in, in these boats. It would need a big sound system. Now that, right, let's, we've got to our destination. It's time for a cast. I'll pick up my rod. That is a serious casting platform. Aside from, there's a little bit of swell or something like that. You could sit down here and cast, but up there, you step up to that platform. That's another dance floor in itself, isn't it? Absolutely. And again, you know, I get, keep coming back to the stability of the mm. catamaran. That non-skid deck up there is made for people that want to cast stick baits and All poppers. day long. Right. All day. So if you're yeah, chasing you... GTs or something like that, there's no problem standing up there. And even hooking one, you know when you hook a big fish like that and you kind of need to brace yourself, there's two or three steps before you even need to worry about going off the yeah. side. Yeah, huge amount of area, great stability. And also, you know, you're up, so you've got great visibility yeah. too. Oh, that is a vantage point, 100%. Yeah. Now the one thing you keep referring to is stability. And I've read that it's like a cloud-like ride. Can we jump off, which is a bit of a drop at this point, go off the side and have a look what this hull looks like? Yeah, keen to show you the hull. It's a beautiful hull, and that's why we get that cloud-like ride because of the uh, the performance and design of this boat. Right, let's do it. Right, uh, let's jump down. It's a bit of storage in there. Hold on, Sam. You telling me there's a toilet in this thing too? Yes, mate. We accommodate, like I was saying <laughs> earlier. You know, the wife and the kids, yep. you know, you're out. Like I keep saying, it's it's a great day boat too. It's obviously a fishing boat, yeah. but you wanted to go out for the day with the, the family yeah, yeah, and yeah. whatever, we've got the toilet. I did not expect that. I thought, you know, that would just be a place to store those miscellaneous items, but the fact of thought to put one in there, I've got to go in. Can I go in? Mate, go in. Oh, now we're talking. I feel like a little kid. This is a really nice feature. It's probably echoing because it's so much room in here. But Sam, in terms of, you know, in terms of being able to get out and go for a fish, we have to get the permission passes sometimes. That is a big brownie point. That's a tick. <laughs> That's a tick. So Sam, I do a lot of fishing, but I've never fished out of a cat. So is it something I need to try? Is there advantages to it over a single hull or? Yeah, most definitely. Um, thing about a catamaran, like I was saying earlier, yep. very stable, yep. twin hull. Um, that, those pontoons there being spaced apart going to give you great stability. Yep. The other big advantage is the 33 cat over a, say a 40 mono, mm. it's got a lot more room. It's right. beamier, it's got a lot of real estate. And then in terms of how it rides, I mean we said the cloud nine, the cloud like sorry I should say. H how many knots can I get this to if I'm hammer and ton out to the reef? So powered with the twin 300 Mercs, yeah. this cat does about 50 knots. 50? 50 knots. That's quick. Imagine it's sitting quick. on those lounges it's at 50. Quick. And it still rides fine like that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's really been designed for that power and more. Yep. It, it can take uh, twin 450s. So the hull's been designed to be fast because that's what fishermen want these yep. days. Sometimes they haven't got a lot of time or they want to get home fast. They, they want to travel large Straight distances. They want to go quick. Right. So that's where these cats, yeah. the modern 
you know, monos as well, yeah. are designed to go quick. Now there's a bit of work being done in terms of the design of the cat to improve a few of those things. What's that about? So yeah, cats previously have been renowned for leaning out of a turn, yep. running with a head sea and broaching, okay. which is dangerous. So these guys, Morelli and Melvin, yep. with, in partnership with Invincible, have come up with these, these fantastic hulls and alleviated that. Yeah, right, so they've taken it to the next level. Gone to the next level. Right, well, yeah. the fact that this thing gets to 50 knots, I need to go see what's powering it. Let's go to the back. Awesome. So we're just heading down to the business end where the motors yeah. are at, and I notice this. Now this is something I've never seen in a boat before. Can you run me through it? Sure, so this is, this is a step. This boat's running a twin step. Yep. And what they've done, the modern cat, modern mono, mm. they're using these twin steps and what that's doing is reducing the water tension on the bottom of the hull. It aerates the bottom of the boat, it yep. sucks air in, yep. ventilates it, and reduces that water tension on the boat, which is improving mm. speed and efficiency. Sounds like something that someone much smarter than me has come up with, but look, it works. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, there's a huge advantage here. Mm. You're going faster, mm -hmm compared to a hull that doesn't have this, yep. with the same horsepower, and, you're all, and because of that, you're increasing your efficiency and using less fuel. And it looks cool too. Have you ever seen a hull that looks like that? I mean, it looks like a nice strategic little design that they've put in, but it's also got you know, a reason to be there in terms of the efficiency of the boat. Yeah, for sure. Another nice touch. Let's get tracking. So this is the business end Sam twin 300s up to 50 knots. Can it go any further? Yeah, absolutely. So the hull's been designed for twin 450s. Wow, 900. Uh, 900 horsepower, a lot of horsepower. <laughs> the hull's designed for it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it does 50 knots as it stands. Yeah. You, you're going to cover a lot of ground yeah. with the twin 300s, but just depending on what you personally want, mm -hmm. you can go the 400s or the 450s. Yeah. Okay, so it's again customizable, pretty much like the whole boat, and that, and that pretty much wraps up what is one of the most impressive boats I've ever seen. Thanks so much for your time today, mate. Thanks, mate. Can much appreciated. You the keys or what? Mate, for, for a cool 695, you can. <laughs> no worries. No problem. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed another video from Ocean Blue. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your mates. If you want to get involved, head over to the comments section below and let us know what you think. While you're there, don't forget to get up to date on all the videos over at Ocean Blue as we look to tackle everything in the world of fishing and the great outdoors. I'm Bleakers, signing off until next time. We'll see you on the water.